I've got another little project going. This is the uh, Bank 2 or Front Manifold Cat for my, my 06 Accord. This thing was throwing a PO430 a few months ago. I tried replacing the downstream oxygen sensor to see if that would fix it, but it's in a bit of a tight spot down here. Yeah, you really can't get to it without removing this whole thing. And that wasn't happening. So, I fucked it up. And now I get to replace the whole thing. That cat, by the way, even with my employee discount buying a new Honda one, is 950 bucks. And from what everyone is telling me, 950 bucks is cheap. For, a, for one of these OEM ones. If not for that, I would... I probably should have just bought the uh, two RV6 high flow ones for what, 500? But whatever, too late now. Yeah. As far as my plan of attack goes, I think I'm gonna do the same thing I did when I replaced this alternator a few months ago. I'm gonna. Well, I'm gonna take the uh, fan out, take the overflow off and then I should be able to slide it up and down. It's just the four bolts on this flange going to the manifold, and then there's three bolts holding it to the J-pipe down below. Those three bolts up here, that, there's the bracket up here, the one for the overflow. Pop this clip out. And, Boom, I have my bracket back. I'm gonna need that. Oh, it's just the one down here. That's not so bad then. I thought there was two, like what appears to be the case on this other side. Yeah, this isn't gonna be too bad. You can sort of see where I mangled the hole on the old one. Those heat shields are a bit... Maybe I should have just gotten new ones. Oh well, too late now. Worst case... I'll cut those out and put a bolt in. I put a nut and bolt in them. It doesn't fucking matter. Since I don't have the parts here right now anyway. I forgot to show it, but there's two clips. There's this one here, which you just pop off with a little flat and screwdriver, and one down there that clips onto a little tab right here. You can also pop that off with a flathead, or if you're flexible, maybe you can reach it with your fingers. That's what I did. But yeah, like that, it's out. Now all I need to do is remove the four bolts holding in the cat itself. And I need to get some high temperature gloves because this is gonna hurt. I've got what my friend Raul calls the big dick banana hammock. A Milwaukee M18 high torque impact, three in a half inch drive. These bolts are a uh, 14 millimeter. Oh, don't tell me I'm stripping them. Well, 
I'm not. They're out. It's gonna fight me, but they're gonna come out. They're gonna fight me, but they're gonna come out. This may be a while. Alright. Yeah, there's a 10 millimeter holding the bracket for this overflow bottle on. I dropped that down into the abyss. I'll fish that out later. Then it's the two 10 mils holding the fan on. There's two more down below. I don't know why the hell I put those back on, but I'll worry about that in just a sec. <laughs> Gotta shake test it first. The cat is free, but there's just barely not enough clearance. I'm gonna have to take these ignition coils out. Possibly take the tilt the radiator a bit forward, but that isn't too big a deal. Alright. These are loose now. Those are a 12 millimeter. Transferred over the heat shields. These lower two bolts are rotted off, but at the same time, it ain't going anywhere. This will be fine. Yeah. Three out of four ain't bad, I guess. This thing, I've got to see how much it is, how much one of these would be worth at a scrapyard. I've also got new gaskets that are going on here. This one is the uh, donut that goes down into the J-pipe. This one goes up on the manifold. You definitely want to replace these because, yeah, otherwise it's going to leak, and that's annoying. If you're like me and you don't really carry around uh, uh, internal hex sockets, a T40 Torx bit will work just fine for these. And just like that, freedom. I flipped my mind that the new cat comes with new studs. I thought I was gonna have to reuse those rusty old ones. Sorry I've been playing music this whole time, but this job is kind of frustrating. And like most people, I like to let off some steam by playing some music I like. And I love metal. And I love metal. All right, I've got them in down here. And... Hmm. We gotta see how the hell I'm gonna route this fucking oxygen sensor wire. I think it goes over, what, this way, or... I don't know. Er. Hmm. Or maybe it does just go up there. I'm trying to see. Hmm. I almost forgot to put the, the the donut gasket in the J-pipe, like I was saying. Do as I say, not as I do, kids. Also, I've got this new one up here on the manifold. Got some bad news. I fucked up and I... Or either that or I just got up the wrong thing. I believe that oxygen sensor, yeah, that was supposed to be a downstream one, but they sent me an upstream. The connectors are completely different. And the harness isn't long enough to actually extend all the way out. So, I'm gonna have to put the brakes on this for now. Get, see about returning that one, getting the one I do want, and uh, yeah. Torque spec on these bolts is 23 foot-pounds. I just try to tighten them like that. Sort of a star pattern, but with four. Those lower ones, honestly, I just ramrodded those in because I got lazy at that point. But probably about maybe same thing, maybe 25 to 40 foot pounds. Hey, wanted to show you guys this shit. The uh, inside of the cat. I don't know if I did this when I was trying to get the oxygen sensor out, or if it was like this already. And that was the cause of the whole PO430, but either way, it definitely needed to be replaced. 
can see the honeycombing in here is all kinds of fucked up. It's gorgeous. I don't know if you can see it on the other side. Probably not as... Yeah, you can't get a good view of it here. Yeah. Well, the new cat's already in, and I have the new downstream oxygen sensor. I don't know. If I didn't fuck up that other one, maybe I'll just throw that on since I have it anyway. Took about a week, but I finally got the proper sensor. Yeah. Well, since that one's brand new, I'm just gonna replace the upstream since I might as well. Whoever buys this car, well, they get both of them now. But, I really wish I had held off until it was in, but I didn't have much choice. You can see the cable's actually long enough to reach all the way up to the uh, connector up there. Uh, I don't know how easy it is to see. It's up there above the bracket by the slave cylinder. You can just see the white of it past there. But yeah, I've got a stretch all the way up here. I can hook it into these brackets and then just reach down from above to give myself the necessary room. Yeah, this bracket up here, the, the bracket I'm talking about is the, the plug is the one just above it. So that will hopefully be the end of this. Just clear the codes, reset the monitors, clean it out and it should finally be ready to throw up online. I'm gonna definitely miss, miss this car, but right now I really need the money and I have other projects I need to do. Finally got this thing to load. I was gonna use my scanner, but it's missing. Not as comprehensive as this, but of course I have access to more, I mean, it would have worked faster. Come on. There it is. Yep. P0161. Downstream bank 2 oxygen sensor malfunction because it wasn't hooked up until now. That should be everything. Check engine light is off. And now I just need to worry about getting this thing cleaned in preparation for sale. Hmm, it's pretty clean overall. Just gotta vacuum, wipe some stuff down, get the last of my crap out of here. But far really the only blemish is the headliner. But easy enough to remedy that. Oops, my bad.